Congrats on being on Dr. Phil. Uh, I was so shocked to see that you were on there, watched all the clips that you had put out and was just so grateful that someone was calling a spade a spade or a woman a woman. How, how did you feel going into that? Were you nervous? Yeah, it was. Uh, it was I, I thought it was a lot of fun doing it. I, I was. Um, I wouldn't say that I was nervous going into it. I was. You know, it's it's a it's kind of an unknown. I, I knew that I'd be walking into a hostile environment, at least in terms of the other panelists that are on the uh, on the stage with me. And I knew that I'd be in front of a you know a literal physical audience that was not receptive to what I was saying. And I was right about all of that. The unknown was, uh, I wasn't really sure, you know, Dr. Phil himself and his people behind the scenes, how would that all play out? And mm. um, actually, I found uh, that all, all, as far as that goes, they were very fair. And so I was impressed with that. Um, and I thought he kind of played referee and was just kind of fielding the questions back and forth. I did, thought he did a pretty good job of that. But, but you know, the, the thing is, our position on this topic is so, is so basic and so simple and so obviously right that there's really no reason to be nervous. You can you could walk into a debate with anybody um, because your your point of view is is so simple. I mean, if it was a if it was a more complex topic that mm. required me to actually be smart to address it, then I think I would have been I would I would have that would have given me some pause before you know walking into an environment like that. Do they cut out? much of what you had to say did you kind of watch it when it when it released and thought ah, goodness they cut out that 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 excellent point i i made yeah I, unfortunately they did well there was uh you know I, I would say they cut a lot of stuff for time so there's probably I, at least like 20 minutes of conversation that didn't make it onto air and they cut it, the points that everybody made um the, the one thing that they that didn't make it in that i was that really was a gut punch is that uh, at the end of the show, they brought in this uh, woman who I think identifies as non-binary, but she's a woman and uh, she has a child who she's raising genderless. And so mm. she got a chance to talk about raising her genderless child. And at the very end, I had a chance to jump in there and address some points that she made, um, including you know, she for for much of the show, they kept saying that uh, you know there's a difference between sex and gender, and these are two different things. Which, of course, and I addressed that during the show. But the, the whole the whole claim is it's nonsensical. Number one and number two, um, they they always contradict themselves as far as that goes. Because then she comes along and says, "Oh well, um, I uh, my my child's birth certificate. There's an X. You know, there's no sex listed." Well, hold on a second, but that's. I thought you said gender is what's fluid. Sex on the birth certificate is your biological sex. So now he gets to determine that too. So I was able to call her on that. And then I also asked her, um, if your child is able to choose his gender, then have you also given him the option to choose his race? And if not, then why not? Mm. And she just said that she, she said she wouldn't dignify that question with an answer. But um, I, I was, I was, it was unfortunate that that didn't make it in there, but most of the yeah, other did. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment below letting us know what you thought about the video.